Hey guys, this is John with 757 Woodworks, and I just got my IKEA K1 Ultra in, completely assembled it, and unfortunately there was a problem with the Z-axis right out of the box. A little bit annoying that quality control didn't catch it. I had to reach out to IKEA support to figure out what exactly the problem was. With that being said, I didn't see a YouTube video on how to fix the problem, so I wanted to take a quick moment to go ahead and show you what the problem was and how to fix it. So with that, let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so here is my fully assembled iKear K1 Ultra. And the problem that I'm having with the Z-axis is with this linear rod right here, you can see if I actually take my axis, or my laser, sorry, and I'm able to actually completely move that. It appears that this side right here is loose. I'm gonna go ahead and verify that once I get this tightened up, but let me go ahead and show you how to fix this. All right, so to go ahead and start this repair off, the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and take this screen and unplug it. The magnets on this are not very powerful, and since I'm gonna be lifting the machine up, I don't want this flying across the garage floor. Next part, I'm gonna go ahead and move my laser module all the way to the back of the machine. Now, in my particular case, again, I think I only have to tighten up the screw on the bottom. If for any reason you have to access the two screws on top of the linear rods, at that point, I would highly recommend unplugging this and go ahead and get it out of your way. We'll see if I have to do that or not very shortly. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up and set it onto its back. Go ahead and scoot this just this way so I can grab a clamp. All right, so now this is secure. The two screws that I have to access are right here. And again, I think I just have to do the one right here. We'll find out momentarily. So with that, you're gonna go ahead and grab the Allen keys that came with the machine, find the one that fits, and go ahead and tighten it up. So, so it's the middle size, and mine is definitely, definitely loose on the side that I thought it was. And the other side was just a smidge loose, so I went ahead and tightened that up as well. So let's go ahead and get the machine back down and see if that fits it. All right, so now we're at the back of the machine. I wanna go ahead and show you what you'll need to remove if for some reason you need to adjust the two screws that are on top of the linear rods. So first and foremost, you'll need to undo this set screw that's right here on the adjustment knob. That'll allow that to pull right off. From there, I'm gonna take a Phillips head screwdriver and go ahead and undo the cable clip. You'll need to do the screw that is right back there. You've got two more screws that are right here. From there, this whole thing will pull off and you'll gain access to the two screws that are on the corners of the Z-axis itself. Go ahead and tighten those up and then reassemble by reversing the process that we just went over. That is now rock solid. And I think that is it for this video. So go ahead and put it through its paces, see what it can do. If you want to see more content for the IKEA K1 Ultra, please go ahead and like and subscribe the video. I'll have more coming here in the near future. Y'all have a good day. Bye.